Hi, this is Kevin with KGM Jam, owner of ProAdvertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today and start advertising for free. Okay, got 15 battles. I took a energy, uh, consumed one yet last night after my claim. Had a really good claim. Let's see where we're at here. Five, seven hundred comp total or parts. The comp are parts too. They're just so bound. You can't, or not so bound. You can't use them anywhere but on the app. These you can, but I just add the two together because I burn them all. Uh, 23 shards. I'm up to 1.26. I'm shooting for that 2.0 that um, somebody told me that they were getting. And I'm almost there. I'm almost to Prestige 9. I got five more levels to do. And I should be doing probably by tomorrow or the end of this weekend at the very least. Um, I spent 195 comp to build more scavenger golems. Increased my power by 1 to level 75. I staked 38 part. I just love to collect parts. You gained 10.3 experience points. I advanced level 45. Gained another 66. You unlock the achievement rank junior scholar by reaching zero. You unlock the achievement rank intermittent scholar by reaching 239. You unlock the achievement rank. I'm unlocking a lot of achievement ranks every day. I got attacked and I lost 30 parts. Okay. So with the 15 attacks, I should easily get that back and then some. You got to attack. Don't take it personal. But you got to attack to get back what you lose. And if not, you're just getting a bonus. Okay, so let's go 70 to 78, I believe it is. Search. That's on fortification. And that's pretty much what I go by. And that should give me 60 to 80. Let me see if there's any 78s there. Yep, that's all... Then I max out the stash. You could make it a lot more complex than this. That's just this is how I just knock it out. I like 60 to 80 because I win most of the time, and when I do win, it's a lot of parts. Now you could win a lot more. A lot more. When um if you go lower percentage. But then you don't win as often. And the actually new achievement system encourages you to try different. That's a win. See, 25. I got I got back to 29 that I lost pretty much right there. So I'm going to definitely come out way ahead on this. I'll save my last attack to go after a .05. If there's 36, yeah, I'm doing good. Going to have a lot of stuff to burn. A lot of parts. So there's two ways you get parts. It's through battling and through the crumbling rock golems. who They mine while you're between uh, claims. I claim once in the morning and once at night. You can claim every eight hours if you want. Confirm. Okay. Uh, he's already been attacked, so somebody is. <clears throat> That's a loss. And when you lose, you don't lose that many parts, like a couple maybe. Maybe one, maybe two. So there's really, to not attack would be nuts. I lost, well, I lost 3.4 in that one, so that was a little bit more, but still way ahead of the ball game here. And I'm just going down the list. I'm not even looking at names. I only won six on that one. Why was that? And that was, see, that was 80 to 100. Uh, so your, ch your, your rewards go way down when you get to a, a higher chance to win. This guy just attacked last night. So it wants me to give him some rest, and I will do that. 
And look at there's 17 back. So I'll skip that guy. But these numbers are changing all the time too. So you really never, you know, I don't see this too much. Mine's more just being efficient, just get in here, bang it out. <coughs> the, the one thing that all these platforms, I don't care if you're Disney, I don't care if you're Netflix, I don't care if you're Golem Overlord. What they're all fighting for now is your time. There's only so much time in the day. There, there's Say there's 20 games coming out a day. You might have a great game and people won't play it because they don't have the time to even get to it. That's just the reality of the metaverse. Unless you can design a way where all your income comes from metaverse and you're are, like a retiree would be good doing this kind of stuff because you got all day. But even then, you know, you're going to eat, sleep, shower, go for a walk, go hang out buddies, whatever. It's, it's a constant battle for your time. Time is going to be the biggest wall for all these platforms. That's why I went to bots on Splinterlands. I've got three accounts that's playing 24 games a day. That's three hours of my time that I save. And it's only a dollar a month for each. For, I'm on Splinter, mate. Um, but, you know, games like this are especially attractive to me because I'm in and out in five minutes. Once in the morning, once in the evening. It's, have a lot of fun in those five minutes. Okay, I got three more tacks. Now, you can multi. You can watch Netflix Why play in this game, probably. That's what I do. I got YouTube running in the background all the time, watching and listening to all my subscriptions that, that from various g gamers and I also listen to YouTube while I'm working, uh, uh, DoorDashing or Ubering or uh, anything like that. So there is ways to maximize your time, but again, it's just <laughs> you're going to have to pick and choose what you spend time on, and everybody else is going to get left out. So what I will do, I've got probably 20, 30 platforms that I mess around with every day, and I will whittle that down to my hardcore 10 to 20. And as new ones come out, I've replaced that top 10 to 20 with something that's better. Because, not because I don't like what I'm probably replacing, but because I don't have the time. And here's a, here's an interesting, okay, I'm going to change that to, uh, let's do it this way. Let's go to, I think it was 120 to 130 search 5 to 20 okay let's and this guy's got a nice stash so if I do win watch out Uh-oh. Oh, man. I thought that was going to be a victory. Okay. Let's go and spend all this. Oh, no. Claim it. I got to claim it. So, let's see. Nobody attacked me. And I'm all out. of. I've done all the quests and the daily quest, and So, I'm all caught up on that. So, there's nothing to see here. And so, you know, at the end of the day, this is a claim and burn game. The strategy is on how you spend it. And that's why I can't wait. I, I There's no guarantee that he's going to do land, but it, it was mentioned in the white paper. But I really, boy, land, if you're playing land like on Splinterland or any other land, claim and burn is the, 
land would be perfect for this game. It, it would because you'd have to spend on the land to build stuff probably, and maybe you're building scavenger golems, maybe you're mining shards. Uh, who knows that the unlimited things you can do with land would be incredible. And he's been at, on the very least once a month adding something new to this game. Okay, I've got my stash. Remember, I got to burn at least eighty percent, otherwise I get fined or penalized. So I always start off with the scavenger golems. So I go down here. Here will be my claim. Up above that's my 3% donation to my guild. We are full, by the way. The last time I checked. Anyway, let's go check. Yep, 21 of 21. So now as we go up in level, we'll have more. So keep your eyes open if you want to join us. Bronze Dragon is our fearless leader. He's been doing a good job. So uh, just keep your eyes open, and you can jump in there as soon as we get an open spot. But uh, let's get back to this. So claimed, I claimed four, five, roughly 500 and something parts, 15 shards, 13.88 uh, scavengers, which means it's going to take 138 to get me back where I was at. So I'm going to do 140. I'm just going to do this 146. Remember, you got to spend the comps on site, so you might as well use those first. Okay. So now I'm going to go do my reputation. Reputation gives you experience points per hour. And when you get enough, I'll max out at 50th level. And then I can burn all these experience points to go up to Prestige 9 and start all over again. But then my max level will be 55. It goes by five level increments. So I usually add about 100. I like to be right around 10 experience points. So let's go here. Let's go 100. And then I think I'm going to burn and uh, consume another energy NFT. So I have like 15 attacks tonight. Okay, let's see if that gets me up to 10 point something. Yeah, 10.4. I'm happy with that. Anything over 10. Um, so now I'm going to go and do... I've got 277. So let's do 27 stake for my bank. And that will leave me 250. Staking increases your max stash between claims. And um, you know what? Let me see if I got any uh, questions that people left me on my YouTube channel. Okay, comments. Okay, my... Okay, my financial journey. Okay, I haven't... My financial journey, number one. I haven't gotten there yet, but I think I remember reading somewhere that if you don't claim one time in 24 hours, your golems stop scavenging. Just a heads up. I think it's meant to help people who go on vacation so you don't have all of your golems decay away while you're gone. So you wouldn't be able to let your stash build for 48 hours. Okay, well, that makes the max stash pretty useless then unless... As long as you got enough, that because I, the most I can get is 800 a day, 799.6. That's the most I can get a day. But uh, you know, he ought to put a vacation mode in here, because that's true. What if you are going on vacation for three or four days, or an on-site bot to, to automatically claim for you? I don't know. That's getting kind of that's out there, but that that would work. But anyway, uh, thank you for the comment. Let me see if I got another one. That's it. Okay, no more comments. So uh, let me spend my last 250 But I do like to collect. I, I like having a bank account. It's just fun. It just is. I can always unstake it and spend it. Um, 
So 375. I, I've got a very simple strategy with I love balance. Uh, balance is a simple strategy for me. And so I just go by the what numbers are the lowest. And that would be faith. I need 375 to promote this. And then I can work on the other ones. Uh, so let's go and do the 250 right there. And then tonight I will be able to finish that. And then let's go burn my NFT. We're still trying to figure out what is going on with the achievement. Right now it's just... Um, you're getting a bunch of uh, points. Uh, whether there's going to be a reward system, we don't know. Um, but it's it's neat. It's pretty nice. But but you can look at, like, this is what I do. 80% misses. And you actually, like, I've missed 63 times. And when you get to 250, you'll get something. But what, what can we do with it? We don't know. Then they got the leaderboard coming. And, but, but here's something, Expedition, which I just paid attention to the other day. This is another game within a game within a game coming on. You can tell that they've already got it. Wow, look at all this that we're going to have to learn. Now, that looks like the symbol. No, that's not. I mean, look at all that. What is all that? Here's a little description of what it goes on. But, or, or hold on, is it going now? Missions. Coming soon. Yeah, it's not it's not uh, installed yet as far as ready to go. But let's go to the inventory. I'm getting very excited about Golem Overlord. It's, it's getting better and better. And I hope all platforms learn this. You don't have to release everything at once. Just just give us a, a monthly nibble and you can keep your base because it takes us about a month to consume it, figure out how to game it, you know, take advantage of it, and by then we're ready for something else, you know. Okay, Bounty 5. No, I'm looking. Oh, let's open up a uh, trinket. Open crate. I got a pure pirate. Okay, we'll put another one up tomorrow. Okay, where is the... Increase your NFT rarity by 30 cents until your next claim. Okay, I need to use that when there's quest. Here it is. Gain 8 energy. Okay, this is the one that if you consume, you have a ton of attacks. Usually 2 to 3 times more. So I'm going to consume it. See that chain right there? You can't sell it, so you might as well use it. And there we go. That's how it's done. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, come join Golem Lord, Overlord, and help us build this. Um, it's $10 to join, but you can get it back through turning your shards in and your parts over on the hive engine and break even type of thing you can also welcome to sink as much money as you want into the game uh, like every platform uh, investing money will speed it up uh, if, if not then you got to be patient and build it at the at what the game gives you it, it's fair on both sides i love the fact that you can do both and i i feel like if you're not putting in any money you don't feel like you're out of the game you're, it's all level orientated just like Splinter Lands where you play to what you can play to and that's who you play with pretty much and um, not financial advice entertainment purposes only listen to me at your own risk I'm pretty much an expert at financial loss and if you're still here that's on you but um, if you get a chance like and subscribe go check out my Pro Advertisers Club and have a nice day